So in this tutorial, we're going to see how we can represent linear vector spaces in Mathematica. So to write a vector in uh, Mathematica, you need to use the curly brackets. x is equal to the vector 1, 2. If I then, after that, press Shift Enter, well, it's going to give you the output of x. If you want to suppress the output, I'm going to go back to the same cell and the same cell is represented by this bracket I'm gonna go back to the same cell and put a uh, semicolon again press shift enter this time the output is suppressed so I'm gonna go back here press enter to keep writing on the same cell so keep writing usually in the same cell I will would like to multiply 5 which is a, a real number multiplied by x now I used the uh, star for multiplication so 5 multiplied by x shift enter and you have the output of the first line which is x equal to 1 2 and then the output of the second line which is 5 multiplied by the vector x gives me 5 10 if you want to suppress the initial put a semicolon shift enter I suppress the initial line and the output is only 5 10 which is 5 multiplied by X now let's have another vector Y let's say Y is equal to 2 and 3 5x plus 3y and notice that I don't need actually the star I can actually write 5x plus 3y so now I have four lines in the same cell this is right here this is a cell I have four lines in the same cell I'm gonna remove this answer so I have four lines x is equal to 1 2 y is equal to 2 3 5x plus 3 multiplied by y or 5x plus 3y I'm gonna click shift enter and here is the results this is x the first line, the results of the second line, the results of the third line, and the result of the fourth line, which are the same. So I'm going to now start a new cell. I will write X. Notice that Mathematica is case sensitive. If I write capital X, Mathematica will, will not recognize it. So I wrote X and pressed Shift Enter. Mathematica did not recognize it. But if I write X, Shift Enter, Mathematica recognizes it as 1, 2. I can write x and view it in a matrix form. To view x in a matrix form, again, shift enter, you have this other or different uh, form, but they are equivalent, and this is x represented in a matrix form. Now let's conduct some operations on vectors the operations are the norm so to write a norm in Mathematica you open a bracket and then star and whatever is inside is considered a note so the following shows how to use Mathematica to find the norm or the Euclidean norm and the Euclidean dot product so norm basically norm X remember mathematica is case sensitive so capital N and X and then use a square bracket norm X shift enter gives me square root of 5 norm Y y has been defined above norm y shift enter root 13 let's see the power of Mathematica I can define a new vector z that's equal to a and b and see notice that the blue color is used when Mathematica does not recognize the variable since we have not defined z or a or b these are still in blue color if I take the norm of z 
it's the square root of absolute value of a squared plus absolute value of b squared so I don't even need values for a and b for Mathematica to give me the norm to get the dot product I will say dot I will use the function dot and Mathematica is case sensitive so I, if I use dot it's going to be blue and I won't be able to get any answer so I have to use capital D dot x y and at the bottom here you get x dot y is equal to 8 remember x is 1 2 y is equal to 2 3 so x dot y is equal to 1 multiplied by 2 plus 2 multiplied by 3 gives me 8 a faster way of conducting x dot y is simply x dot y again I'm using the dot not the star it's very important for the dot product you're using the dot itself not the star so x dot y is also equal to 8 so whether I use dot x y or x dot y I get the same answer you can even get z dot x now z is defined as a b x is defined as 1 2 so you should get let's see what we get we get a plus 2 b 2 b now let's start a new cell and let's try vectors in R3 let's write x is equal to 1 so I'm redefining x as 1 2 3 I'm gonna put a semicolon to suppress the output y is equal to 1 1 0 I'm gonna put a semicolon to suppress the output what will happen if I take x dot y I get a value of 3 I can take the cross product cross x and y remember the cross product is only defined in R3 if I take uh, let's say z I define a new z a new vector that's equal to the cross product between x and y so z in this case is equal to this vector let's verify what should we do you expect when I take the dot product between z and y and what should I expect when I get the dot product between z and x remember z is the cross product between x and y which means z is perpendicular to both the initial vectors so the dot product between z and y and the dot product between z and x should be zero all right let's just remove the output here let's press enter shift enter and here are the answers x dot y gives me three the cross product between an x and y gives me negative 3, 3, and negative 1. z dot y is 0. z dot x is 0. Let's find the norm or the size of z. Shift enter. It's square root of 19. The, uh, one thing, the other thing that I would like to talk about here as well is how to find the angle between vectors. So let's use the same definition for x and y I'm gonna start a new cell so I'm gonna use the same definitions for x and y x is equal to 1 2 3 and y is equal to 1 1 0 I'm gonna take these the result out here I'm gonna write in the same cell I would like to find the vector angle I'm gonna call this variable theta vector angle open square bracket close the square bracket between x and y the vector angle between x and y is equal to the inverse cosine of 3 over 2 square root 7. If I would like to get the numerical value of this, I'm going to use the function n, open square bracket, close the square bracket, and use the same function. I would like to get the numerical value of the vector angle between x and y it's 0 0.968 in radians or I know that x dot y is equal to norm x multiplied by norm y multiplied by cosine the angle so if I divide basically x dot y divided by norm x norm y it's 
this this gives me uh, the this gives me cosine theta so if I get the arc cosine of that or the numerical value of this shift enter again the same answer so the functions that we discussed are let's go from the top this is how we define a vector how we multiply a vector by a scalar how do you view it in matrix form the norm of a vector the dot product of a vector use the dot or use the function dot the cross product how to get the cross product and how to get the ve angle between vectors using three different ways the next is how can we define matrices to define a matrix M I'm gonna use three I'm gonna use different curly brackets in the first two sets of curly brackets the first or the outside one defines the matrix inside I define each row so let's say the first row is 1 2 then comma and then the second row is 2 1 I'm gonna put a semicolon to suppress the output then I'm gonna put M display it in matrix form and this gives me the matrix form of M let's define uh, another n matrix again 1 comma 3 4 comma 2 the first row is 1 3 the second row is 4 2 again I can add 5 M plus 2 n display the result in matrix form some uh, so some symbols I cannot use in Mathematica for example n because it's already a function the numerical function so I'm going to replace n with n n and this is the result of 5 multiplied by m plus 2 multiplied by n the last thing that I'd like to discuss is the table function I can define if I want to define uh, a matrix such that the matrix is defined uh, or like a vector let's say I would like to define a vector with five um, entries and each entry and the entries are one two three four five so I can define X using the table command the table command open the square bracket close the square bracket each row has the value I and I takes the value of 1 to 5 I'm gonna suppress the output I'm gonna, I'm gonna represent X in matrix form and this is the value of X in fact I can put X is equal to table I plus G where I is from 1 to 5 G is from 1 to 5 this will give me a 5 by 5 matrix each entry will be equal to the row plus the column number so I'm gonna put X in matrix form first row in the first column 2 the first row plus the second column so 1 plus 2 is 3 and so on so these numbers rep are represent the row plus the column where the rows I have from 1 to 5 and the columns are from 1 to 5 so I can use the table command to define larger vectors or matrices such that the entries follow a certain pattern